Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how to move objects in Procreate using Selection Tool. So here I have an illustration. The only problem with this illustration is that these three hearts are on the same layer. And let's say I want to move one of them a little higher. Right now, if I try to move it, it will move all three hearts at the same time, which, some, which is something I don't need. I need to move just this little heart a little higher. So to do that, I first need to select the object I want to move. So I will go over the selection tool. And you notice when I tap on the selection tool, a little, a little menu with four different options appear at the bottom. These are selection options. So first one is automatic. This is probably the easiest option to use to select your object because all you have to do is just tap on, uh, tap on the element you want to select. And voila, your object is selected. The next is the next option is freehand and this is my favorite something i use all the time just because i'm used to it um, and i used it since i got procreate all you have to oops, all you have to do is just take your pencil and draw around your object oops, that was that wasn't really great selection but all you have to do is just draw around your object and now it's selected the next one is a rectangle and rectangle is the option where the you can draw a rectangular selection around your object. So all you have to do again is just take your pencil, tap and drag. So now you will see the little square shape appeared around my object and now it's selected and I can move it. And the last option is the ellipse. Ellipse works the same as a rectangular option. All you have to do is tap your pencil and drag it to create a circle to select your object. So now, how would I actually move my heart? So I will go to Selection Tool, I will choose whatever option I, I like, I like freehand, and I will select my element that I want to move. Then I will go to the Transform Tool, which is this little arrow, and now I can move my heart how, however I want. If you notice right now, my heart moves pretty freely around the canvas but if i need more precise movement i will go to snapping i will turn on magnetics and now if you notice it moves a little differently it's because it now snaps to uh, vertical and horizontal axis but again that's for more precise movement i will not use it here so now i just move it a little higher and voila now i move my heart and that's all for this video. I hope you learned something new and I hope this was helpful.